Hallelujah. He is the first and foremost in our life. Amen. Siya po ang nasa pidista ng ating mga buhay. Amen. No other than the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So we have our prayer request here. Brother Enrico Barcillo. He need healing from COVID-19. So every day we receive this kind of uh, line of prayer that people are infected by this uh, Corona virus 2021. 2019 is already expired. <laughs> Hallelujah. But thank God for the Lord because uh, we have our victory report through our network of prayers. Amen. From our Hallelujah prayer team and every group. We, we bring this uh, name into the throne of the Lord. Amen. And every morning in our Amen prayer connection prayer. Amen. And we receive now a victory from the Lord that Sister Susan Ubamin, Amen. She received a miracle healing from Hallelujah uh, due to COVID-19 infection. Praise God, Hallelujah. She is now picking in alive by the grace and by the power of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. There's power in prayer. Hallelujah, Jesus. And that's one of the line of my preaching this morning, amen, that, uh, that line, prayer. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Though some pastors also are not uh, recovered and they are gone, but it is the will of God, amen. We cannot hold life, only God knows it, amen. Even though we can pray for them, but if God give them a chance to go home early, <laughs> hallelujah. Wala tayong magagawa doon. Only God knows everything. But we need to trust God. Amen. And in all His ways, acknowledge Him. Praise God. And He shall direct our paths. Hallelujah. So this morning, thank you so much. Good morning, Macau. Good morning, uh, world. Dahil napapanood po tayo, mga kapatid ng uh, mundo. Praise God. We are online in YouTube and also in ABP of United Pentecostal Church of Hong Kong. Praise God. To God with glory. Greetings to all our ministers, especially to our senior pastor, Pastor uh, O'Donnell and Sister Lynette. Good morning, Macau. Good morning, brethren in the Lord. Good morning, Potan. Good morning, Debay. Uh, Discovery Bay is here? Oh, there is new one. Okay, Sister Gemma. Praise God. To God with the glory. So without any further delay, amen, let's come to the Lord in prayer and let us include this uh, uh, prayer request in the Lord. Father in heaven, thank you so much for this privilege that we come to you to worship you, to magnify your name, O God. Lord, we come to you, Lord, with our faith because we believe that every time we ask prayer in your throne, God, you are ready to respond to it, Lord. Remember Brother Enrico, Lord Barcelo. Right now, Lord, he needs healing from this infection of COVID-19, Lord. Father, we ask God your miraculous healing upon his body. Intervene like right now upon his situation. And every pastor also that infected by the COVID-19, including Pastor Alan Diarios, Lord God. Father, Lord, let your mercy, let your favor be upon their life, God. And we declare life in Jesus' name, O oh God. And we claim healing and miracle power of your name, God, that is going to execute upon their body. Lord, thank you so much, Father. And we can continue to pray, Lord, that continue to cover us with your precious blood. Our family in the Philippines, Lord, our sons and daughters, Lord God, let the power of your precious blood that continue to envelop us, God, wherever we go, O oh God, wherever we walk along the road, O oh God, hallelujah. We keep praying, Lord, your covering power in our life, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray also, Lord, the preaching of your word this morning. I pray the double portion of your anointing, O oh God, to envelop my life, use my tongue, use my lips, Lord. Hallelujah, to preach your word with love and boldness, O oh Lord. We claim, O oh God, a great outpouring of your spirit in our life, in our soul today. Hallelujah, remember our guest today, O oh Lord. Hallelujah, fulfill the promise 
source of salvation upon their life, oh God. And I pray, Lord, that they might feel also the joy and freedom of your spirit when we are in this service. Father, do not let everyone stay out in this room, Lord, without a powerful revival that is going to experience again in our life. We need the repressing of the Holy Ghost. We need revival in our soul, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Everybody say, Amen and Amen. Can we clap our hands for the glory of the Lord? Hallelujah, 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 Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. So, Brother Joel, even though you can turn it down all the surround speaker, but don't let turn down this uh, uh, platform speaker. Thank, thank you so much. Okay. So, if you have your Bible with you, please help me to turn it in the book of First Peter, chapter four, verse seven to eleven. Okay. Are you there in your own Bible? But we have our own uh, screen. All right. The Bible said, But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. Everybody say prayer. Prayer. I like this line. Watch unto prayer. And above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves. For charity shall cover the multitude of sin. Wow. This fervent charity, this kind of fiery love, this kind of flaming love or fashionate love, it shall cover the multitude of sins. Hallelujah. Katapat lang pala ng kasalanan pag-ibig. That's what the Bible said. For God so loved the world and He gave His only begotten Son and whosoever believed on Him should not perish but have an everlasting life. Hallelujah. That's the reason why Peter said about all things Yung pinaka mataas na mga bagay, this is a paramount things that we need a perfect charity. Everybody say amen. amen. Sa ating lingwahe, umaapoy na pag-ibig. No? Praise God. Ibig sabihin mo, mayroon pala pag-ibig na walang apoy. Amen. And in verse 9, the Bible, the Bible said, Use hospitality one to another without grudging. Amen. The Bible said, command us that we need to eradicate division. All right. If you understand that. But use the hospitality one to another. We need to welcome with each other. Do not put any wall on in any yes. barriers. But we need to welcome each every one of us without Praise the Lord. without Amen, amen. Shall we say amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Do you like this line? Amen. And then verse 10. As every man. Sabi mo sa sarili, I am a man. I am a man. Kain babae ka, man ka. Every man hath received the gift. Even so minister the same one to another. One to another, as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. So meaning to say, we have a different gifts that comes from the Father. Because we are unique people in the sight of God. A manifold grace. We're talking about the gifts. Amen. That work in our life. 
In verse 11, if any man speaks, so be bold, if say really, I am a man. If any man speaks, let him speak as the oracles of God. And if any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which God giveth. That God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Everybody say amen. Everybody say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can you, can you lay your Bibles down and give a hand clap of worship for the glory of God? Come on. given to us this morning, oh Lord. Hallelujah! We bless your holy name. We magnify your holy name. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. I would like to bring the message from the Lord. We already pray the preaching of the word of God this morning. So I'm glad to give it to you. The message of the Lord in his title, Instruction. For the end of the world. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you turn to your neighbor and say, We need We need instructions. Hallelujah. God bless you and you may be seated. Remember, church, that we are not saved without the instruction of God. We're not coming in this place without the instruction of God. So we need instructions. Shall we say amen? amen? Especially in this last days. What we need is the instructions. Amen? Because some are lost their faith. For four months that we don't have church. Amen. Hallelujah. Some are not instructed. Hello. What they are doing to do. What they are doing to do always, amen, if they have their opportunity to have their day off, because we don't have church, we can see them around Hong Kong. I like your silent moment. Doing their selfie in every corner. Hello? But thank God to those people who instructed by the word of God. Before pleasure, before hiking, I need first to hear the instruction of God in my life. I need to be present, hallelujah, in the online preaching, hallelujah, because I want to be strengthened, hallelujah, because instruction is the very best thing in my life. Without the instruction of the word of God, we are continually lost. Can we give a hand clap of grace? In verse 1, there is something that this verse get my attention. While I give this uh, title of the message, the instruction for the end of the world. Because when Peter write this particular scripture, I mean, he's talking about the end of the world. Are you with me? He said, but the end of all things is at hand. Meaning to say this end of the world is working now in our present time. It's at hand. Big sabihin, kumikilos na yung warning na darating na at katapusan ng mundo. When we talk about at hands, ongoing na po. Amen? And we need this coming amen, end of the world. Thank God, because Peter wrote this scripture to give us instruction. Amen. Lord, hallelujah. Hello. If you notice, every line of the scripture is about instructions. Hello. If you remember lately, it seems like Hong Kong has become the preoccupied with the end of the world due 
during June 2019 up to 2020. We know that Hong Kong protest, also known as the anti-extradition law, amen, what happened? The amendment bill movement. It seems like this kind of warning in the last days and which eventually escalated into a violence and killing people. Shall we say amen? amen? And we are all scared of what's happening around the world. Hello? Amen. And more, Sister Katrina. Look at that. Killing people. This kind of anti-extradition law amendment bill movement that it will occupy our mind with the end of the world. And I found this on Hong Kong News, the image of Armageddon. Hello? Because it depicted pictures and drawing from multiple sources on their con conception of what the end of the world would like or would look like. Even multiple movies and TV shows that have been created a defecting of the end of the world. Nalala niyo mga kapatid, yung mga fiction sa movie and the modern time, mga kapatid, but now it's happening. Yes, amen. The hi-fi movie na pinapanood, mga kapatid, sa YouTube. Some are natural disaster, such as meteor, such as flood, such as earthquake, yes. nice ice age, or new ice age, and combination of all them. Some by the man-made nuclear holocaust, and some also by viral infection of virus, and a rampant epidemics, or what we call pandemics. This is usually bring about the so-called zombie act Apocalypse, right? Hello? Yeah. And there are even TV shows about how to survive the coming apocalypse. But there are other sources that just media about predicting the soon coming end of the world. We see in the popular books of a modern authors have talked about the end of this world. Professors in this world that even scientists point to a global warming a radical climate change a space object on a near earth collision courses this is what happening now around the world amen. that even the economists point to the fiscal cliff amen which is supposed to wreck our economy even more than it's already suffered Lahat po, mga kapatid, ng establishment, they are suffering now, mga kapatid, the shortage of their capital. There is crisis around the world. There is even don't stay, church. The clock which is supposed to indicate how close that we are to a total nuclear war. Shall we say amen? Amen. And probably the most famous of the current don't stay. Prediction comes from the Mayan calendar. Have you read that Mayan calendar? Not yet? You try to read it and you can find there are some predictions on that calendar. The Mayan calendar ends last December 2021, uh, 2012. Amen. So some have taken that to mean that the Mayans, somehow even though they were not as technological advanced as was here in our time. They were able to predict the end of the world. But whether it is in the media, church, or in the books, or just conversation, people are talking about the end of the world. And the fact is that they are right. Amen. Because the world is ending soon. The world is ending soon. The signs are all in a place. And the prophecies of the Bible are all coming to pass.
us today. Hello? But I will not go into all of the provinces today. But I need to suffice to say, enough to say, that the words of Jesus Christ about the end of the world are mirrored in today's headline. The prophecies from Revelation about the end of the age are coming to pass in our lifetimes, church. And thank God for the instruction. Hallelujah! That before the end of the world, God give us an advanced instruction that what we are going to do, what is going to prepare our life to meet the Lord in the end. Hallelujah! Come on, clap your hands for the glory of God. Now I would like you to understand the word instruction. Why I'm using this? Amen. In the title of my message. Remember the word instruction. It means it is an injunction to each and every one of us. A command. A directive from the Lord. Amen. So in our text a while ago. Apostle Peter understood that even in his day that the world was drawing closer to the end. Amen. That was 2,000 years ago. But in the Bible times, they are all expected that the end of the world is coming closer and closer. Amen. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. This is kind of like taking a road trip. Have you, have you been in a road trip? With your family? With your friends? On the day that you leave, you are on the way. When you leave, you are much closer to your destination. Right? Alam na naman road trip kayo, doon lang kayo nag-start at hindi na kayo umuusap. Pag road trip, mga kapatid, praise God, palayo ka ng palayo sa iyong pinanggalingan at palapit ka ng palapit sa iyo. Papuntahan. Hello? So as time marches on, the world continues to approach a day and an hour and appointed time by the Almighty God in which the world will be destroyed. Prepare na ang mundo na mawasakin ito ng Diyos. And we are closer now on the road of time to the end than they were in Peter's day. Na nalakuha niyo, mas malapit na tayo kaysa yung mga apostol noon na naghintay because we are now living in the last days. Are you excited for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ? So we must come to the understanding church that we are living in the last days. Kaya huwag kang makampanti sa panahong ito mga kapatid. There are things that you need to work out in your life. That's why the lyrics of the song, hallelujah, you need to double your worship. You need to double your prayer. You need to double your faithfulness. You need to double everything. You need to level up. Why, Pastor? Because the end is coming. I don't know the day or the hour. Nobody except God knows that. All I don't know, church, is that we are closer today than we were yesterday. Mas malapit na ang ating finish line kaysa nung nag-start ka na maglingkod sa Panginoon. Hallelujah! Maybe it's just one step ahead, mga kapatid. It is the end of the world. Hallelujah! Nandiyan na sa iyong halapan, mga kapatid. So do not come. Huwag kang maging kampanti sa iyong maglilingkod. We need the instruction of God. We need to be faithful. We need to be holy every day. We need to be sober. We need to be confident. As I have said a while ago, all I don't know is that we are closer today 
were yesterday. So we must live our life of its day. We're our last day in this life. Hello? Kung kailangan maglikod ka, isipin mo na ito niyang huling araw ko ng paglilikod. Kaya gawin ko ang lahat ng aking magagawa. Hallelujah! I need to become painful more. I need to become dedicated more. Hallelujah! I need to shout louder than before. I need to praise louder than before. awareness of the end or the end of our age. Hmm. Everybody say praise the Lord. Praise Which the Lord. is why Peter gives some instructions when he, when he speak about the verses. In verse 7 the Bible said but the end of all things is at hand. Look at this. The end of all things. Not a single one but everything that is in the world, there is an end. Amen. Everybody say amen. amen. Lahat ng mga bagay dito mamimelt, magkakaroon ng ending. Amen. If God release even a hit, the perfect hit, that can melt even the metal. Pag nandito ka, hindi ko alam baka malinson tayo. Shall we say Amen. But be ye therefore, this is the instruction. While waiting for the end of the world, Peter giving us now the instruction. And this is the instruction. Be ye therefore, this is a command. What we're going to do? Be sober and what's up to prayer. Ito ang foundation natin mga kapatid. Hallelujah. Be sober. Always clean. Always live holy. And when you are living holy, you need, hallelujah, to establish your prayer. Because your prayer is your foundation to the Lord. When you are waiting for the end of the world. Walang sinabi ang Bible mga kapatid. Except your prayer Because prayer is the direct injection between you and God. Hallelujah. It is your communication. It is your agreement between you and God. Can we give a hand clap for the praise? But we need to live clean. We need to talk about sober, to be transparent, to live holy. Hello? Amen. It is difficult to pray without holiness in your heart. Amen. So that you can pray. Everybody say amen. amen. To live holy, to live sober, it represents the holiness living. Clean, sanctified. Even though the Bible said that give us the warning that the end of the world is at hand, but be sober and watch and to prayer. Malapit na ang katapusan ng mundo. Kaya pikilan ninyo ang inyong sarili para hindi kayo makagawa ng masama na walang maging hadlang sa inyong mga pananalangin sa Diyos. And thank God for this instruction. Wala pong ibinigay ng Bible maliban mga kapatid to live holy and to hallelujah pray in the Lord always because in your prayer, in your relationship to God, you need to work deeper and deeper so that every day you can receive a divine instruction of God what you are going to do in your life. What? Ato prayer. Thank God for the prayer network. Thank God, hallelujah, that we have our prayer warriors. Thank God that we have every morning prayer devotion. Why? We are in line of the word of God. 
Nampalain siya ng news. Hello? Nakita niyo sa ating online, mayroon na kaganyan, no? Alam ko, job nyo yun eh, ayaw niya ng prayer. But thank God, lahat ng nag-ispas. Hallelujah, come on, keep on, Pastor. Keep on, Sister Sincha. Keep on, Brother Joel. Keep on in your prayer. Because this is what the Bible said. When we are weeping in the last days, birth. Hallelujah, we need to live soberly. We need to live holy. And watch unto God. Unto prayer. Keep your emotions under control so you can pray. There's the word sober, clear-minded. Of course, if you have a clear-minded, the holiness of God is going to dwell in your mind. It is the same term that is used to describe the man with the legions of demons when he was found in his right mind. It is a mind that does not wet. It is a mind that does not worry or waver under, under pressure. That's the word sober. You are not affected what happening around the world because you know that you have a God in your life. You are in God's side. You are under the protection of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. That's why you need to live soberly. You need to stand holy in the presence of God. As the second thing down in the game, the team is called, called, collected to deliberate and determine my prayer. Hallelujah. Because they are cool. They are calm. Whatever things happen. Because they know that God is always in control of everything what happening into the world in bad times or in good times give always thanks to God come on can we give a hand clap of worship my point is this morning that we need to keep things in their proper perspective hello in a proper perspective. If there is some commotion,